up to high water. That's the reality for many Vermonters this morning. Not even six months after July's floods rocked the state, we're seeing an eerily similar situation this morning. Route 2, one of the roadways seeing problems all throughout the state from Chittenden County to points north. Melissa Cooney joins us live now along Route 2 in the Bolton area. Melissa, what's it like there? That's right, Alyssa and John. We drove from Waterbury all the way up to as close as we could get. We're in the Bolton Richmond area and it is a wet site. When we were driving coming up this way, the waters were extremely high, nearly water uh, road level, and we saw multiple houses have extreme damage on either side of the road. Now we stopped here because this is as close as we could get. There is high waters just a little bit behind me. There are multiple cars stopping and turning around. We didn't even get close enough to see. We just know that it is certainly too deep for us to drive through. Now, that's not something anyone should be doing. If you see high water, it's really important to make sure you turn. Melissa, thank you. Yeah, uh, the Winooski River remains a primary concern this morning. The National Weather Service tells us the river is in major flood stage above its forecasted crest and still rising. That's right. Calvin Cutler joins us live now to show us the impacts of that this morning in communities around Chittenden County. He's live in Burlington now. Calvin, what are you seeing? Yeah, good morning, Alyssa and John. Here along the banks of the Winooski River in Burlington, just up uh, from the dam near the Salmon Hole, the river is continuing to rush, but it is expected to crest soon. Uh, now, we have moved back a little bit from the river, about six feet, just because of how much the water has been rising. Let me show you exactly what we're still looking at here. Uh, now, according to the National Weather Service flood gauge in Essex Junction, uh, we are still at a major flood stage and as of 5 30 a.m. the river was at about 20.71 feet. Uh, officials are predicting the Winooski River to peak at 21.1 feet at 7 a.m. so in about 30 minutes or so uh, and it's expected to fall after. Now this would be the sixth highest crest ever uh, on record for the Winooski River. Uh, for context though this summer's floods peaked at just over 23 feet which was the third highest on record. Now, with the Winooski reaching more than 20 feet, that means a potential for flooding uh, to be widespread from Jonesville all the way down to Lake Champlain. Currently, Route 2 in Richmond is closed from Bridge Street to Cochrane Road. Route 116 in South Burlington is closed between Route 2 and Kennedy Drive. And the I-89 southbound exit off of Exit 11 in Richmond is closed as well. Now, the Lamoille River at Johnson, it already crested this morning at about 17 and a half feet. It's now just down to about 16 and a half feet. That will continue to fall as well. Now, again, as Melissa just mentioned, but uh, officials are stressing to please use caution around running water, not to drive through flowing water, turn around, don't drown, and of course, use caution along river banks as well. Uh, again, we'll continue to keep you updated on the status of the Winooski and other rivers uh, as well through the through this morning and through your morning commute. So for now, reporting live along the banks of the Winooski River in Burlington, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.